might think he's wearing the same helmet, but no, we actually had to, uh, we, uh, well, let me tell you first, we, uh, negotiated with this mind flayer venerator, and we are allowed to go and see and talk to the overmind of this colony. However, to be allowed to do that, we would have to, uh, leave behind our helmet of shielding. So now we're back at the old cowl of warding. Hopefully that'll be enough to deal with uh, the uh, overmind. Through this teleportation device, how cool. That's <laughs> a fact. Oh yes, elder brain, that's what's called, not an overmind, it's an elder brain. It is what this is pretty much what it looked like. It's a, a giant ass brain in a pile of goo, and it's kind of has tentacle thingies. Mm hmm. You sense a strange alien presence in your head. The memories and knowledge of thousands of minds flood your thoughts, nearly overwhelming you. The images shift and change as the alien presence explores your own mind, seeking a better way to communicate, a way to focus its multiple consciousness uh, to deal with a single entity. Entity. This is actually, I don't, this is actually not entirely lore truthful. See, that's the big kind of secret. See, most mind flayers, they uh, serve the uh, elder brain Thinking that, because uh, when um, let me, when a an, an, uh, mind flayer dies, his um, brain is is thrown and uh, thrown into this pool and kind of dissolved. And uh, it's uh, well, the mind flayers think that its consciousness becomes one with uh, the great uh, elder brain. Though, from what I remember, lore wise, this is not true. There is not, uh, there are not more consciousness uh, in the elder brain. There's just one itself, and it does indeed absorb all the knowledge and uh, experiences and stuff from the from the brain, and therefore gets stronger, also psionically. But it does not take on the consciousness of the uh, mind flayers, and if the mind flayers would know this they would probably not be so eager as to follow the Elder Brain. But they don't, so that's what happens. Anyways, let's continue with this thing. Maybe it feels like multiple consciousnesses. Since, yeah, it is a vast and alien mind. You feel a powerful presence in your thoughts. In wor its words echoing as if spoken by many voices across an endless void. You have been given given access to the inner sanctum, a rare privilege for a thrall. We can see many of your thoughts, thrall. We can we see you are an enemy of the Valshares, and we know. Illithid, and that you know that the Illithid are our allies. Is that why you've come to the Overmind of Zulfak Moor? Uh, yes, I want you to withdraw the support of the, of the Vilsiris. Zulfak Moor is only a small part of the larger whole. Throughout the Underdark, Overminds of many Illithid pots have pledged allegiance to the Valsiris. We Overminds now act as one Elder Concord. Only a consensus of all Overminds linked through the Elder Concord can end our alliance with the Valshares. Can I convince you or threaten you, uh, this Elder Conclave, to abandon the Valshares? A Thrall could never convince the Elder Concord of anything, but we of the Zulfak Moor Overmind could sway the Concord to abandon the Valshares. The earth had detested Drow. They are fit only to serve as thralls. Yet, we have been forced to follow the Valshares and her army of Dark Elves despite our hatred of them. 
We Ilithids only follow the Valjuress, because many of our parts are not strong enough to stand against her. If you gave us a power to oppose her, we would withdraw our support. And how am I supposed to do that? Also, I don't like giving you more power. I like giving me more power. We once captured a thrall from a strange village here in the Underdark. A village is made up of winged elves from the surface, though they are now live below the earth. From the thrall's mind we learned of a powerful artifact, a magic mirror that the winged elf used to spy on their enemies. Such an artifact will give us the power to stand against the Valshares. If you deliver the mirror, we of the Sufak Moor Overmind will abandon the Elder Concord to aban to abandon the we will convince the Elder Concord to abandon the Valshares. Uh, I do not know if I like the idea of the Illithid becoming more powerful. You must look at this logically. You are an enemy of the Valshares. By making us stronger, we can oppose her will. This will make her weaker. You have few options, Thrall. If you wish to stop the Illithid from joining the Valshares, you will bring the mirror of Zulfak Mu to the Zul to, to we of the Zulfak Moor Overmind. Is there uh, maybe some extra incentive in this for me? If you deliver the mirror, we of the Zulfak Moor Overmind will convince the Elder Concord to abandon the Valshares. This is the agreement. You will not bar we will not bargain with the Thrall. Okay, I'll get back to you when, I, if, I, when if or something I get this mirror. When you return, the gods will give you access to, in, to the inner sanctum once again. Once you have delivered the mirror, we will convince the Elder Concord to abandon the Valshares. We, the Overmind of Zulfark Moor, await your return. Oh, I like it. I like that voice that I found for it. Hard to give the idea. For, uh, I tried to go for a little bit of a bork like uh, influence in the beginning, but uh, I don't think I can pull that off properly. So, we are uh, out of my way, you witless, expressionless Durgar. We have business now. Yeah, this matter with the mirror, it's probably one of the last things we'll do. Or maybe it's one of the first ones, I don't know. I think it might be best as one of the first ones. Expressionless Durgar! Do not stand in my way! I hate dwarfs so much, they always stand in my way. I think Dar's developing quite a complex about dwarfs. So, that one son Zulfak more. I think it might indeed be a good idea to just get that mirror already. I don't know if we'll hand it in straight away, but let's go get that mirror. So it's back to town, off to one of the little islands. See, you need to, what the thing is, we need to be careful with what order we're doing all these quests in. Lunch! Yes, I'm all for lunch. And rest of these soon. That'll be kind of like lunch. I think. I think you'll have lunch while you rest. I do like this music. Let's also find that woman that we rescued. Hopefully she will be nice and grateful, else Darth might be upset. Hopefully I'll be at the lamentation of the women. And there she is. 
Hello. You recognize this woman as a fraud. You helped to escape from the inner city and so far more. Offer, she managed to deliver your message to the seer. She smiles as you, at your approach. Moth shifts toward good. How nice. No, I am glad you are here. It gives me a chance to thank you. If you hadn't sent me to deliver that message, I would still be a fraud to deal with it. Once the Valsharas is defeated, the seer has promised to send scouts to lead me back to the surface. This wouldn't have been possible without you, Dara. Thank you. Hooray! That was much rejoicing. Yay, yay, yay. Well, I think all we'll those will have a little rest here. Sorry, I really do like this music. This one of I do fear that this is one of the uh, the ones of the underdark or main theme you kind of is memorable is memorable, but that's mostly because it's drilled into your head every time you start up the game. No, but this song is, is actually pretty memorable. Though it might also be drilled into my head for being in this town a lot. I don't know. Welcome. I just like it. Alright, let's head across the river and let's go to the island island with the strange town. Hmm. Oh, Deacon might have something to say. Welcome. Where are we going now? Yes, is there something, there something you need? Let's stop and talk a moment. I suppose we can spare a few moments away from our quest to speak. Mm, nothing new. All righty then. Let's head in. Maybe still talk to me then. Shall is fall? Dun. Kind of a marching music here. Aha! I see you bloody trap, you. Have something for that. A fuck off trap. Ah, drought warrior. Nothing else right now. Ah. Ah, he did not even reach the camp. <laughs> oh, that is good. They saw me cut it down. They know what awaits them. Yeah. Sabal, I think we'll need to hit these cleric and uh, this Sabal person first. Ignore the warriors, they are from... It's good for the cleric first. Ow! That's the cleric down, good. Please hit Sabal, this is a much bigger threat. See? Got these trials down there. Hits her in the back! Hits her in the back! Yes! Time stop. Oh, what she is? She does the beating? I'm beginning to think she might be a wizard girl or something. Oh, she teleported away. Ah, oh, party now is doing pretty good, I think. It would be better if uh, Nathira hits people. Oh, there she goes. Wow, it is a lot better if she starts hitting people. I think uh, a some somehow gets kind of blocked to... Uh... Oh, oh, that was an invisible enemy. How cute. Pray, whatever God you Not impressed. Oh well. It's all got away, that's a shame. We should have sold some of this. Oh well. Potions! We can actually use this. Well, not right now. We are good on health right now. But in the near future, yeah, we lost since we lost a lot against the battle at, battle with the maker. That damn you, it was quite a bitch. So, I look forward to introducing you all to the uh, Demi Lich of Baldur's Gate 2. They are something else altogether. Alestrei is the goddess of moonlight. One day, I hope to visit the surface of Toril and see the moon for myself. Oh, you should see. Uh, 
Guess that's better for you than sunlight. Yeah. Well, aren't these people uh, blue? Double D, double die, double D, double die. Two winged elf approach you. They move with a slight taste. And you notice their wings are mottled and ragged. Likely the result of too much time spent beneath the cool, dark earth. Male moths in greeting, his wings rustling lightly. Welcome to Shiaris Fall, stranger. I am Ska, and this is Nyairo. Despite his pleasant words, there's no joy in his voice. The female chimes in. Why can't they just say the woman chimes in? Why does it have to be female? Oh, well. Uh, in her own voice, I can the sorrow edge to my face. You are welcome here, stranger. I'm sure you'll find the town quite beautiful, despite its troubles. Not to read these type of lines in such sorrow, but I hope I do a good job. Just a bit of voice acting practice for me this game. And I do hope you appreciate and enjoy it, anyways. What are a winged elf doing in the Underdark? Don't you suppose to flitter around in the mountain of Northern Toil? Yes, that's where they're from. These are a Variel, they're officially called. And they are, yes, winged elf. And, uh, hmm, anyways. Scar gets a strange expression on his face, as if your words are stirring up thought and marries he can't kind of grasp. He shakes his head, displaying the strange stupor. Once we high lift in the high in the mountains, soaring among the clouds and the gleaming spars of our glorious city. But now we live in the under here, in the underground, cold, damp, dark. Far better, don't you think? Only fool wants to fly free and touch the sky. It's obvious, in his words, that on some level he believes what he's saying. But it's also clear that something is very wrong here. Are you a prisoner here or something? Where are your chains? I wrote fra brown furrows in confusion. What an odd thing to say. Those trout ask us the same question. They first arrived when they first arrived. No, we are here because our queen brought us here. Oh, where can I find you, the queen? Queen Sayori once dwelled in the castle, but she has since abandoned it. Now she lives in a secluded cave from the east of here. You can't get there by going past the library. Why did she leave the palace? I... I don't know. She just wanted to be alone. I guess it's too bad. If she had stayed, maybe the Dryders wouldn't have moved in. Driders? Yes, driders. Those hideous, horrible monsters that are half drow, half spider. The creatures stalk on the stock of the streets and looking for elves to feed on. They tend to stay near the palace, though. They sometimes venture out in search for food. More than a few of my friends have been devoured by them. Look, that serves you right if you're too dumb to leave. Oh, we can never leave Sayori's fall. The very notion is... Well, it cannot be. It's like I told those drows who came through. We have to stay here for our city. Tell me about this drow you mentioned. I can't tell you much. They said they were looking for something. Some type of artifact, I think. Isn't that strange? I can't even remember what they were looking for. How very odd. No matter. I suppose, in any case, I told them they should go speak with the Queen Sayori about it. If you want to know what they were after, you should go and speak with her as well. Alright, I should be going now. Farewell, and please enjoy your stay in Shiori Fell. 
And if uh, you run into those nice crowd who were here before, tell them I hope they find what it is, find it was that they were looking for. Right. Well, what a cheerful bunch of wind elves. Yeah, stay, uh, Variel. Uh, Do you have a moment? Oh. There is something I wish to tell. Well, first, Nathira wants a moment of me. Yes, Nathira. They say this town appeared on this on this island from out of nowhere. Obviously, a pow obviously there's powerful magic at work here. The magic the Falsteras might want to use for herself. Not if we find it first. Precisely what I was thinking. Let's go. Ah, I will have this power for myself. But yes, I was talking about the Avariel, or the Winged Elves, as uh, they're called here. They live mostly in the northern mountains, I think, of Faerun, on really high peaks. And they kind of have... Um, they... Uh, won't stop until she has conquered every land on the face of Tor. Alright, how surprising. They have kind of glass cities and glass weaponry. They're kind of bizarre glass smiths. So. It's a group of crowd just inside the cave ahead of you. If you act quickly, you might be able to send an ambush. We don't do ambushes, we do killing. But I will cut. Uh, uh, honestly, I have to do uh, all answer. We could get a strong minion out. Let's do that. A little spectre. And if not, command the shepherd, else it would be way more badass and we wouldn't have to do anything. Right, we're just gonna wait. Oh, I suppose I'll activate this. Get some strength going. We're just gonna beat them up. We are professional beater uppers. Yes, that's a word. Come on, get out of here! Get out of here, you saucy ladies in red. Yes. Soon, the ground will be red instead of you, red sisters. <laughs> Aha, there she is. Get them all! Oh, I didn't expect that, did you? Come on, let's beat her up. No spells for you. Oh, ah yes. I think that's actually an aid's ability to escape. I think she always uh, disappears after this. Yeah, there she goes. Alrighty then, let's kill some drow warriors who have stand no chance against us. Due to our godlike AC and our amazing attack bonuses. Look at this shit! Paint the ground red indeed! Oh yes, I love it! This is what I dream about every night! Well, it was uh, a curious type of ambush, but very solid and successful ambush. Just wait for them and beat them up as they get, get out. Anyways, we are gonna have another talk after this in this cave. So, I think I will leave it here, and uh, we will continue with that next time. Till then, 